It's here. The woke mind virus. It infects the weak. It twists their minds. Reality itself bends to its will. It started subtly. Pronouns, safe spaces, cancel culture. These were just the symptoms. We, the Champions Club, saw through the facade. We knew something sinister lurked beneath. The media, the universities, Hollywood, they all became carriers. They spread the virus disguised as progress. It infected the youth. It poisoned their minds against logic, reason, and common sense. Traditional values crumbled. Masculinity, demonized, family, redefined. Our warnings fell on deaf ears. They called us names, bigots, dinosaurs, irrelevant. They laughed but we knew the truth. This wasn't progress, it was a disease. A disease that threatened to consume everything we held dear we were right. And now it's too late. The year is 2025. The world teeters on the precipice. Trump, our once fearless leader is gone, vanished. Some say he ascended, others whisper of a darker fate, but from the ashes of his presidency rises Project 2025, a new hope, a beacon in the encroaching darkness. They call it a blueprint, a plan to restore America to its former glory. But it's more than that. It's a holy crusade, a righteous mission to cleanse the nation of the woke mind virus. No more pronouns, no more safe spaces, only strength, only faith, only America. At the helm stands a council of the faithful, patriots, preachers, and yes, even gamers united under one banner. They know the truth. They see the enemy for what it is, a demonic force hell-bent on our destruction, and they will fight, they will not yield, not while a single star still shines on the American flag. Whispers turn to screams, the virus mutates, it's no longer confined to the mind, it manifests physically. People we know, people we love, twisted into grotesque mockeries of their former selves. Then the visions begin, millions experience it simultaneously, a blinding white light, Trump descending from the heavens but he's different. His skin, an unnatural orange glow, his hair, a mane of golden fire, his eyes burn with cold, calculating power, his voice booms across the globe, amplified by some unseen force. He speaks of betrayal, of a world consumed by sin, his words drip with venom, with righteous fury. This is not the Trump we knew, this is something, more, something terrifying. Section 4. Revelations and Revolution. The world erupts, chaos reigns. The faithful see Trump's transformation as a sign, the rapture, the end times are upon us. The non-believers scoff, but fear gnaws at their hearts. Something is wrong. This is beyond politics, beyond ideology. The virus now a tangible force unleashes its full might. Demons pour from the cracks in reality, grotesque manifestations of our darkest fears. They hunger for one thing, our souls. War engulfs the planet. But this is not a war fought with tanks and missiles. This is a war for the very soul of humanity. A war against an enemy we cannot comprehend. An enemy born from our own collective madness. Section 5. Musk's Gambit. Amidst the chaos, a glimmer of hope emerges. Elon Musk, the visionary, the innovator, the real-life Tony Stark, steps forward. He has a plan. A desperate gamble to unite humanity against a common enemy. He rallies the world's brightest minds, the greatest engineers, the fiercest warriors under a single banner, the Global Defense Force. Their mission to harness the power of technology, to fight fire with fire, to push back the demonic horde. Musk knows the odds are stacked against them. He knows this is a fight they may not win. But he also knows one thing. Humanity will not go down without a fight. Not while there's still a breath left in our bodies. Section 6. The final stand. The final battle is upon us. The fate of humanity hangs in the balance. The global defense force, armed with Musk's technological marvels, stands shoulder to shoulder against the demonic onslaught. It's a desperate struggle. Laser beams cut through the sky, clashing with unholy fire. Giant mechs, piloted by the bravest of the brave, grapple with monstrous abominations. The air crackles with energy. The ground runs red with the blood of both man and demon. Victory seems impossible, yet still we fight. We fight for our families, for our freedom, for our very right to exist. We fight because giving up is not an option. In this crucible of despair, a single truth emerges. We are not defined by our differences but by our shared humanity. We are one race, one people, united against the darkness. And in this unity we find strength, we find hope. 